Prince George, how y'all doing? What's up, Maryland? Y'all good? It's a great day. It's a great day. And first, uh, I just want to say to, to Angela uh, and all the work of Moms and Man, thank you, thank you, thank you for making us better, for making us safer, for making us more just, and making sure that we leave no one behind. God bless y'all, Moms and Man. Thank you for all you continue to do. Thank you. And I want to say to each and every one of you, thank you as well. Because I know, coming out here in the middle of the day, coming out to a rally in the middle of the day, on a Friday, on a Friday, that's right, this is a sacrifice. It's an ask. But it's important. And it's because y'all know what's at stake. Y'all know why this matters. You know that we've got to have, if, we, if this is truly going to be Maryland's decade, we got to have the right leaders in place to understand what that means and what that looks like. We have to understand that we have to have the right leaders in place who are going to fortify our future, who are going to actually use their time and their energy and their power to increase freedoms and not to decrease them, i.e. leaders that see us. And that's why today, tomorrow, and all the way through November, we are going to ride with Angela Alsterbrook, we are going to ride with the Biden-Harris administration, and we're going to get this done. Listen, we know how to get things done, y'all. We know how to get things done. We know what partnership means. And we know why partnership matters. We know that our ability to get big things done means that we need to bring everybody to the table. And I want to thank each and every one of you for that partnership because, especially on this issue, you know, this is an issue that for so many of us, this is personal. This is personal, the idea that we have children that still walk through neighborhoods and communities that do not feel safe in the places that they call home. That this is personal, that we have people who are going to homes of worship and still feeling in fear of their own safety. This is personal when we have people who are sitting in positions of power and who are not using their positions to make any of us safer and in fact are using and kowtowing to lobbyists and special interests that are making us less safe every single day. This is personal. And so that's why partnership matters, because partnership produces progress. You know, I'm so blessed that 17 months ago, y'all gave myself and our spectacular Lieutenant Governor Aruna Miller the honors of being the governor and lieutenant governor of this amazing state. But I also know that we're all very clear about what we walked into. We walked into in Maryland that for eight straight years and for an eight-year period saw the homicide rate in the state of Maryland nearly double. We know what we walked into. We walked into a state that over an eight-year period saw the non-fatal shooting rate in the state of Maryland literally double over an eight-year period. We know what we walked into when we walked into a situation where Baltimore City saw 300-plus homicides for eight straight years bloodshed. And we know what the solutions and the recommendations to address that were. Where during that time period we saw a General Assembly that was introducing legislation that could do things like making sure we're enforcing background checks, doing things like making sure that we could actually prevent gun theft, making sure and passing legislation that could focus on things like banning ghost guns, and every single time that those bills made it to the second floor, made it to the governor's desk, they were met with a veto. A veto. The reason I bring that up is this. Now he's running for Senate. And listen, I want to be clear. You know, I'm a, I think about the words of James Ball, one of my favorite writers. James Baldwin once said, I can't believe what you say because I see what you do. I cannot believe what you say because I see what you do. You don't have the luxury now to turn around and pretend like those eight years didn't matter. You don't have the luxury to turn around and act like those eight years that 
you did all you could. But you didn't. We watch those numbers jump. And when the responses and the reactions and working in partnership actually came on board, we saw veto pens instead of decisive action. Or in the words of, and I'm, 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 like, I'm, like, I'm, I'm watching this, this whole thing taking place right now where it's like from everything from reproductive health and now it's like, oh, I'm a, I'm a poor choice champion. Okay. <laughs> I, I got a plan to deal with uh, public safety. Okay. Or say in the words of Jay-Z, allow me to reintroduce myself. <laughs> but that's not going to happen. Because we've got somebody who is running for Senate, who understands the assignment, and has understood the assignment her entire time in public office. We have someone who is running for Senate who during her time as state's attorney was able to cut the violent crime rate in Prince George's County by half because she understands the assignment. We have someone who is running for Senate, who understands the importance of partnership, and by working together, working together with this remarkable Biden-Harris administration, and by the way, our Vice President is lights out. The work that she is doing around gun violence right now is spectacular. It is first in the country kind of work. And we are proud that working with the county executive and with the White House, that Maryland now has become one of the first states to have a center for gun violence prevention and intervention in our state. We have someone running for Senate who got it honestly. This is the work that she started her career. Knowing that our families and our community deserve to be safe. Knowing that our children should feel safe in the schools that they attend. That people should feel safe going to and from work. That we know that accountability does not just mean accountability for the people who break the law, but also accountability for the systems whose job is to support them. And when we talk about properly addressing the issue of public safety, that it's an all of the above approach, then yes, it means we are going to support the, the people of law enforcement, make sure we can have a law enforcement units that move in absolute integrity and full accountability, and at the same time knowing that if you are not investing in community and community interventions, you are going to consistently miss the mark. That it takes all of us. That it takes law enforcement and also community that it takes homes of worship and, our, and, and also our institutions of educational supports. That it takes also. It's going to take also Brooks in order to get there and we need to get done in November and for our state. Also. Not instead of. Also. And so in this time, y'all, we've got a choice to make, and we've got work to do. We've got work to make sure that every single person in our community and every single person in our society understands what's at stake. That we've got a chance to define our own history. We have a chance to lead the way. We have a chance to make sure that when the future of this moment is written, that our fingerprints are going to be on it. Because we have leaders like Angela Alsabrooks and leaders like the Vice President who are going to make sure that each and every one of us have the opportunity to do just that. <laughs> this is time to do something special. And we have two remarkable women, two history makers, yeah. who also understand that making history is the assignment. that the people who came before us and opened up these opportunities for us to be able to have, that they did not do it so any of us could be first. That they didn't do it so any of us could be only. That they did it that we could actually work together to create a society that those who came before us hope for. And those who will come after us that they deserve. We have a chance to save lives. We have a chance to create policies that can make sure that all people feel seen and heard in their own skin. But it's not going to happen by accident. Partnership produces progress. 
and work produces legacy. And so in this time, my ask is simply this. We look at the book of Scripture. We know that faith is important. But we know that faith without work is dead. For these next months, we put in the work. For these next months, we make it matter. For these next months, we make sure that everybody in our orbit understands what's at stake. We make sure that everybody in our orbit understands what's on the line. We understand that this is a moment about protecting freedoms and not depressing them. This is a chance for us to have leaders who see us and who fight for us. Not the either, not the or, but the also. And so, God bless you, Maryland. This is the time when we're leading. This is the time when Maryland is taking the lead. But it's not by accident. It's because you all are making it happen. In November, we are not just going to win elections. We are going to send a message. We are going to make Angela also what's the next senator for the state of Maryland. We are going to get Joe Biden and Kamala Harris for more years. We are going to preach about a future that we deserve and that we are fighting for. God bless you guys.